guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Katrina and this is Nick. It's me, the one and only. <laughs> Today we're gonna be discussing our top three favorite rides in Epcot. Um, I figured I'd go first since I'm already flapping the trap. I do enough of that already. Oh man. <laughs> oh man, it's been one week and one day since we've been married, guys. Yes. We're already sassing each other like this. Well, we've always been sassing each other, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. Because no, no, he is about as yeah, full sass. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Fine. All right. So my top three for Epcot is Living with the Land. It's in the Land Pavilion, which is more off to like the right hand side. It's a boat tour that talks about like um, different um, areas in the country and like how we grow our food, how we obtain our food, and just like making sure we're not hurting the earth yeah. to get what us humans mean. Yeah, it's a lot about like agriculture and like how a little brief summary of like how we transform some of the landscape so that we can turn it into like lush fertile farmland and then it brings you on a little little cruise through the greenhouses that are in Epcot. This is my favorite ride. Yeah, I know. It's cutting me off. <laughs> the greenhouse is my most favorite part. I love plants. I love gardening can't wait till we have a house so that I can have all the gardens. But this greenhouse is so cool. It's got like the little boat tour that we're talking about that we're on that you get to see. And it has like all these moving parts and it has like fish that like uh, the plants clean the fish and the, yeah, the fish water and, and then the uh, poop from the fish feeds the plants. I believe it's called aquaponics is the name of the system that involves you know the plants and the fish kind of being symbiotic with each other. Yeah, I think you're right. But uh, they have these like molds that they'll grow like pumpkins and watermelons and all sorts of crazy things into like Mickey shapes. And yeah, so you have neat. to like find the hidden Mickeys and they'll like grow a lot. lettuce to look like uh, Mickeys. And uh, it's just really neat. Hidden Mickeys are kind of everywhere, but especially in this ride. Um, also, which, it's it's kind of long. It's... 30 minutes ish i think it's only 20 but it is 20. a nice yeah break you, you get need to sit on your butt in some air conditioning, air conditioning. it's the best part mm -hmm. about it is the coolness and the sitting yeah because it gets hot in florida all right what's your top three all right my first on my list of top three so i'm going from three to one from least to most favorite is test track test track is really cool because you get to the first thing you get to do in like the pre-show while you're waiting for the line is you get to like make your own little car with all these different like parameters like the speed how it performs you know the maneuverability and those things are like briefly demonstrated like within the ride like and how it corners and stuff like that and then well hold on sorry the ride part like where you get to make the ride like he was just discussing so you'll get to see like so if you make your car whatever color after each section in the ride that it's testing these um abilities for your car you'll get a ranking and you want to yes. end up like with the highest ranking from the other people that are in your car yeah so it's pretty neat it's pretty neat so you get to see like how your design stacked up against the other people because you'll scan your magic band which is like your ticket it's like a yep. wristband that you wear throughout the whole park and you'll scan it right after you make your car, and then you'll scan it right before you get into the car, so that it knows which. Yeah, so it knows like who's who. Who's who, and so you'll be going up against the other people, and it's six people to a car, so it would be us plus four other people. Yep. So. And so. then, <laughs> once you go through like the maneuverability, um, the cornering, and like the exhaust like it's not exhaust it's like how environmental environment how it impacts the environment with like the, the emissions that's what i'm looking for how the emissions do then it takes you to the power portion of your little test car and the car that you're in and you go barreling out of the track at just under 60 miles an hour it's like 59.9 no 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 so it's 64.9 oh 64.9 because okay. it can't for it to be a ride. I don't know if it's the United States or Florida, what one makes this rule, but it has to stay under 65 miles per hour. Yeah, so, so it brings you to 64.9 yeah. miles per hour. And it, like, you know, you go down the highway just about 65 miles an hour pretty regularly, but because 
the track has bankings on like how it goes so it'll like turn up so you're like almost perpendicular with the ground it feels like you're going a lot faster than you actually are so you get to experience the thrills of the ride a little more yeah it definitely instead of does. just you know cruising down the highway at 65 you know whatever and we also don't have a convertible so we don't feel all that wind yeah. that this car is but no test track's pretty fun it's just really loud when you're walking up to like the building that it's in because like the car is you know hauling booty cheeks across that track yeah i also really like this ride um I definitely want to hit it every single time we go to Epcot. Yeah. If we go to Epcot two, three times during a trip, I want to do it two, three times. Oh, yeah. It's just, it doesn't make my list. I'm more of like the sentimental when it comes yeah. to my favorite Yeah, rides. it's not like, like any of these rides are bad by any means. These are all like very good rides that we're listing off. Yeah. It's just that these are the ones that we like a little more than the others. Exactly. So what's your next one? My next one is the big golf ball up at the front. I love Spaceship Earth. When you see us all looking down too, it's our dogs that are like circling our feet. Yeah, we like just sharks. got home like 20 minutes ago, so they're still like, "Where you been? Where you been? Where you been?" <laughs> yeah. So especially the big one. When you see us keep like dodging down, that's what we're yeah. doing. We're trying to keep the non-barking. Yeah. But uh, so Spaceship Earth, my second. I've always really liked this ride. I've always liked it as a kid. Before Nick can even touch on it, it's a nice long ride with the air conditioning, so that's mm -hmm. always nice. Um, I like how they, when they redid the seats, that you get to kind of interact with it. Like you'll put in where you're from, what you like, like what your hobbies are, and what they think your future will look like. But it's um, it's a ride that takes you through human communication, like from like the Stone Age all the way up, and it's just just a really neat ride yeah it's really immersive because as you're kind of going through the different like portions of time that it explains you know the communication in each section it will pump into the area that you're in like certain smells and yeah. sounds and just like ambiance that really kind of like is one of the reasons why disney does a lot of their rides and attractions better than a lot of other amusement parks just because it's those subtle differences you don't really notice until you like think about it that kind of like add on to the levels of immersion that really like you invested into like how you're experiencing the ride yeah because like when you're going through one of the main scenes the burning of the library of alexandria it's what like people make candles of the smell just yeah. so that you can think that you're back in the ride. Yeah, because it'll, it'll play like the faint sounds like fires in the distance and it'll pump into the room like, you know, stuff burning, which makes sense because it's, you know, the burning of that giant library. That's like one of the, like the big examples of, you know, the emergence of like that. Yeah. Um, but the whole ride is super, super immersive yeah. like he's talking about. Yeah, like it's, every scene, well, you're literally smacked out in the middle of it because there's stuff going on on both sides of you. Yeah. But like when you start to throw in like more than just visuals like the smell is what yeah. really gets you yeah, it's like it's one. like playing like 4d chess with your mind almost <laughs> <laughs> yeah all, all right. right what's your second i love hate this ride she hates it hates it <laughs> hates it i love mission hate space this ride. mission space is to me a lot of fun to her she hates it I just get but, sick. Yeah. So if you don't like she spinning rides, if you don't just like skip past things this that part. spin around really fast, like really intense G forces, do not get on this ride because you'll hate it. Like this one over here. I hate it. I hate it. I get but so sick. What the premise of the ride is is that you're an astronaut in training to go to your for first mission to Mars, and it's bringing you onto a spaceship that a spaceship. It's a little enclosement uh, simulator. Where it's three or it's four people. Each person has their own kind of like uh, role, like the captain, the navigator, the there's engineer, all, engineer and, and the pilot. Pilot, yeah. And there's all sorts of like buttons and oh, hi oh, doggy. See, we told you <laughs> she was right here. <laughs> all sorts of buttons and switches you can hit to kind of like make it a little more interactive and like stuff to do. And it brings you through the different like stages of you know accelerating off the planet to like break out of orbit, slingshotting around the moon to fly to Mars and then you're landing on Mars. And the way they demonstrate or have you experience, you know, the acceleration of leaving Earth's orbit and slingshotting around the moon is they spin these little things you're in around extremely fast so you get the intense feeling of the Gs while you're in strapped in there and on the screen in front of you, you're looking like you're 
accelerating off the planet, so it gives you that sensation you're accelerating extremely fast, but you're just spinning around at like nine million miles an hour. Obviously, he's exaggerating, but yeah, uh, yeah, is... but it's it's wicked fast. You feel intense. really intense, like geez, on your face, like you're being like pushed in your seat. I love it. it. I think it's a lot of fun, and it's a really wild experience. But if you're prone to like motion sickness, it's you probably want to skip it because you will be thrown for a loop once you get off of it. There's two levels of this ride. It's called yes. green and orange. Green and orange. Orange is the intense one. That's the one I'm talking no, about. No, 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 no. Green is the easier one. Yeah, green is easy. Orange is intense. Green is the one I can handle. I don't want to. You don't. You don't. But because you don't spin in the green one. You just yes, kind of like. Do. No, you don't. He's lying. Don't listen to him. If you don't like spinny rides, don't listen to him. Don't listen to me. The green that ones. Horrible. The green ones are real easy. Just kind of like doing like a dainty little cruise around Earth. The green one. He's lying. Let's move on because we're going to end up in an argument <laughs> in this video. We're going to start fist fighting each other. Um, all right. Mission Space is a no-go for me. He loves it, but if you like spinny rides, you will like it. But, all right. Anyway. My most favorite ride. This ride is poop. This ride is not poop. <laughs> <laughs> most favorite ride, period, ever, that I've ever been on in my entire life. Yeah. Out of all the parks. Out of every amusement Ooh, dog, park I've stink. ever been to. You're a stinky girl. You're stealing my thunder. I'm talking about my favorite thing. I know. Bigman. Bigman is my absolute most favorite Disney character. Well, the name of the ride is ride. Journey into Imagination with Figman. But she just loves this I love character. this little purple dragon. He's just too <laughs> dang cute to not love. So yes, technically it is all about imagination. Um, so you're going to an open house and they take you through this tour talking about your senses. So you, um, but Figment keeps messing up all of like the little, uh, exhibits for each thing. And dirty little turd. And eventually <laughs> the scientist is like, all right, I'm calling this. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want anyone to get hurt before they go into the touch and taste lab. And Figment's like, this is a great idea. Oh, this is our dog sneezing. Yeah. But Figment's like, this is a great idea. And ends up, like, hijacking the guests and takes them to his open house, which is, like, his home, but it's, like, all oh. upside down and crazy colors yeah. and, like, crazy signs that spin around. And instead of hidden Mickeys, which I'm sure there are hidden Mickeys on this ride, but it's, they're hidden Figments. Yeah, the Figments everywhere. And I just... I can't even get over how much yeah. I love this like, ride. Admittedly, I'm not the biggest fan of all the dark rides because I like the ones that are a little more intense. Um, but this one is really cute because the dragon is, you know, he's a cute little purple dragon, cute chubby little purple dragon. And the songs are like really cute and easy to sing along to and catchy, especially if we have little kids. Little kids will absolutely love this ride. Mm -hmm. And I am a little kid. So. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, I'm sure we all know at this point. But like just to even like seal the deal a little bit more. I love this ride so much that I have him tattooed to my body. Yep. <laughs> so she that will. is how much she really I will. love this. He's my most favorite character, my most favorite ride. But I this, guess. This dog needs to come say hello. Yeah, she's very interested in us. You yep. can see the little snoop. Yeah, you can. <laughs> but uh, so I'll let you do your next one. My most favorite ride in all of Epcot is probably the most immersive, one of the most immersive rides in Disney World. The only one that only probably beats it is, um, f uh, I can't remember the name of it, Animal Kingdom, the one with the dinosaur, the uh, dragons, the banshees, Flight of the Banshee. Oh. I can't remember the name of that uh, ride. I'm too fat to go on it, and I'm also too tall, so that, <laughs> that, that double sucks. <laughs> Waited two hours in line to try and get on this ride, and then like, mm, sorry, goodbye. Anyways. Sorry, he's really tall, so if you don't yeah, notice, six he's 6'5". Five. Five. Yeah, so if so you're really I'm tall, big. it doesn't work for some of these rides. But that's only the rides that we haven't been able to go on because yes. of his height. So and so my most favorite ride is Soren. Soren, other than the Flight of the Navi, that's that's what it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Other than that one, this is probably the most immersive ride in Walt Disney World. Because what this ride is, is you're getting into a hang glider... Did you even say what it is? It's Soren. Sorry. Yeah, it's, yeah, Soren. Soren around the world. It used to be Soren over California, but they changed the scenes a little bit, so now you're going to like different places around the world. Mm -hmm. And what this ride is, is you get into a hang glider, and it 
kind of picks you up and like rocks you around and like swings you a little bit to make it feel like you're flying through the air. And while you're going through these different scenes, you know, through Antarctica, through Africa, through Australia, oh, through Paris. Oh, Africa scene though. Oh uh, man. All these scenes are really good. While you're doing this, it's blowing wind on your face at like different... Like angles. As different you angles be, like, and different flying. speeds to make it feel like you're flying and like the angles and embankments you're doing feel accurate. Mm -hmm. And while this is doing this, it's also pumping different scents into the room. Like the Africa scene, there's some elephants walking around and it gives you this really like grassy, earthy smell that makes it smell like you're flying over, you know, the plains of the savannah. Or when you're in um, flying over the islands in Fuji, it gives you this really like fresh, breezy, like oceany smell. smell. Yeah. So it really seals the deal on like how immersed you are, much like um, Spaceship Earth, like how immersed and like sucked into the small stories that these different scenes are But Soren's technology is so much newer. Yeah, so Soren is a lot more advanced. So the little cart kind of like deep, 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 going up this ball. You're on this hang glider and you feel like you're flying around. It's, it's it just spooks you a couple times. The ride's really good. It spooks you too. And like the Antarctica scene, the Don't first. Tell them. Nope. What if they haven't been on it? I'm not saying what happens, but it spooked me in one of the scenes. I almost done pooped my pants. <coughs> it was really funny. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <coughs> Our dogs had to chime in. We told you. We told yeah. you we have dogs. They will. They're gonna. They're gonna do it. Yeah, they're gonna. They're gonna scream. All right, but, but we have one more. One more honorable, honorable mention. mention. Our honorable mention. This would have made your four, right? If we did top four. If we did top four, it would, would have, have made been it. my four yeah. too. So our honorable mention is the seas with Nemo and friends. It's just so good. We love animals. Yes. We love going to like zoos and um, aquariums. aquariums and anything like that. We love it. Yeah. And this is a ride where you go through a big aquarium. Yeah. I The first time I went on this ride, I had no idea there was an aquarium at the end of it. So as we're going down the track a little bit, and you pan over to like the glass where the aquarium is, I was like, what? It, That's crazy. It's so cool. And at the end of the ride, poops you out into like the whole aquarium exhibit itself. I was And there's amazed. manatees yes, and there's eels manatees. and sea turtles and dolphins. I love, me. I love me some manatees. I am basically a giant manatee myself. It's just, that would have been our top four for sure. Yeah. It would have made it for both of us. But And this individual got to feed a manatee. No one was me. there. No one was there. It was just me. I, he had to go to the bathroom. I was like, I'll wait for you at the manatees because I knew he was going to want to see them again yeah, before we course. left. So I was just hanging out, playing on my cell phone, and the worker was like, hey, you want to throw some lettuce into these guys? And I was like, yeah, I do. <laughs> And I then saw, everyone I, came over, and she was like, sorry, that she fed him for enough for a while. Come back in like a half an hour. And I, no one was going to come back just to throw some lights. That's unforgivable, there. because I love manatees more than this individual ever does. I didn't tell him that until we got almost home. Yeah, like, it was, it was like, like, a, like a week later. She was like, did you know I fed the manatees? I was like, did you know I hate you? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm going to put some clips, like some photos of all of the maybe ride vehicles or the entryways just so you can yeah. see what rides we're talking about yeah. at the end. So thanks for watching, guys. Right, make, make sure, sure you subscribe. You, yep, like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what your favorite rides are or if there's any like tips and tricks that you have to enjoy your rides to the fullest. All right, thanks. All right, goodbye.